Hi guys, this is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. In this video, we will learn about building a navigation drawer in our application. Navigation drawer is very common component that is used in many applications. We already learned about building navigation drawer earlier but in this video, we will learn it using Android navigation component. So let's start. The first thing that we will do is we will create a new Android Studio project and we need to use an empty activity for this project. So select empty activity, hit next. Now here you need to put your application name. I will give navigation drawer example. You can give any name and language is Kotlin and make sure you don't mark this option. Now hit on finish. And once your project is loaded, you need to add or we need to add the navigation component to our project. As I already told you that we are going to use navigation component in this project. So you need to go to this link and first we need to add these two dependencies. So we will copy these two lines. We will come inside our project and we will go to app level build.gradle file. And here we will add those two lines that we copied like this. We also need to copy this thing here. So I am copying the version and I will paste it here like this. That's all. Now we also need to add the safe arcs. So we will copy these two lines. And this time we will go to our project level build.gradle file and here we will paste the lines like this. Finally, we need to apply the save arcs plugin. So we will copy this line and inside our app level build.gradle file, we will apply the plugin like this. Now we need to sync our project. So the sync is done. Now we can go to our activity underscore main.xml to create our drawer layout. Now here, first we will remove the hello world. And instead of this constraint layout, we will create a drawer layout here. So I will replace it with drawer layout. Now you need to understand this thing. This activity is our main activity and this activity will host our navigation drawer, the sliding navigation drawer that we see. And for all the screens of our application or navigation items, the menu that we see in our navigation drawer, for all those screens, we will create individual fragments. So that's how it works when we work with navigation component or navigation drawer. So we have our drawer layout. It is needed whenever we want to create a sliding navigation drawer. And inside this drawer layout, first we will drag a linear layout. So I will drag a vertical linear layout here. Inside the linear layout, I will drag a toolbar. So we will drag a toolbar here like this. As we are using our custom toolbar, we need to change our applications theme. And for this, we need to go to styles.xml. Now, if you quickly want to navigate to files, you can double press the shift key, double press shift. And here you can search the file that you want to open. And here I want to open styles.xml. So I open it. And here I will change the theme to no action bar like this. Now come back to activity underscore main dot XML and we have our toolbar. After the toolbar, I will define a nav host fragment that will host our fragments. So here I will search nav host fragment and I will drag it here like this. Now for our nav host fragment, we need to create a navigation graph. And we will create the navigation graph using this plus button. So click here and select navigation resource file. Now I will create nav graph main for this nav host fragment. So click OK and our navigation graph file is ready here. Here we can add all our fragments that we will define in our project. But let's leave it for now and go back to activity underscore main dot XML and nav host fragment is not added so let's add it again and this time we can select the nav graph main from here and we will hit ok so we have our nav host fragment 
and we also have the navigation graph for our nav host fragment that's all now after the linear layout we will create our navigation view that is our navigation sliding drawer and it is called navigation view now again it is wrap content and match parent now you can see the width is wrap content and the height is match parent one thing that we need to define is the menu for this navigation view so let's create a menu for this navigation view so we will go to our project and inside res we will create a menu file now menu folder is not here so what we can do is we can right click go to new and then we will select android resource file and from the type we will select menu and let's name main menu you can name it whatever you want so this is our menu file here we can define our menus that we want to display in our navigation drawer or navigation view so i will define some items here you need to give id it is compulsory so i will define nav menu 1 and title it is also compulsory and for title i will write menu 1 you can write whatever you want and you can also use the string resources here but as it is an example i am not caring about everything so i will create some menus let's create three menus so we have menu 3 and menu 2 now we will define this menu as our navigation menu so go back to activity underscore main dot xml and here we will define the menu for our navigation view so we will write app menu and we will define the menu file that we created that is main underscore menu so we have the menu for our navigation view now one more thing that we need to do is as you can see this navigation view is in our screen and we don't want this thing we want this navigation view to appear when we slide it on the right side okay and to do this we will define gravity of our navigation view so we will write layout gravity and we will set it to start like this and now you can see our navigation view is here and now whenever we will slide it we will see it we also need to set an id for our navigation view so i will write navigation view you can give any id that you want so everything is set up now let's go to main activity to set our navigation view but first we need some fragments that we want to display when a navigation item is selected so we will right click into our package go to new and we will select fragment and we will create a blank fragment now let's create fragment one and unmark this option because we are not going to do anything in our fragment so we don't need useless functions for now so we will just create the fragment class and the layout xml file so we have our fragment one same way we will create two more fragments so we have three fragments now we need to define all these fragments to our navigation file so we will go to our nav graph main and here we will define the fragment one first then we will define fragment two and we will define fragment three now if you go to the code of your navigation graph you can see the start destination as fragment one you can change the start destination if you want so to change just change the fragment id here so everything is fine for now right now all the fragments are displaying the same thing so i will change the text so that we can differentiate that which fragment is currently being displayed so let's go to layout and then fragment one now i will write it here uh, fragment one and now we can make the appearance as headline to make it peg and we can set the gravity to center vertical and center horizontal it is actually gravity and not layout gravity so now the text is in the center the same way i will change text for all the fragments 
so I will do the same thing this is fragment 2 and this is fragment 3 so fragments are done now go back to main activity and here first we will create a late init var to get our nav controller so we will define a private late init var here it is our nav controller of type nav controller like this now inside the on create function we will initialize our nav controller and we will do it with the help of navigation class so we will write nav controller equals to navigation dot find nav controller it will take two parameters the first parameter is your activity so we will pass this and for the next parameter we will pass id of our nav host fragment so here we will write r dot id dot fragment fragment is our nav host fragment you can see here now come back to main activity and now after getting nav controller we will set up our navigation view and toolbar with nav controller but first we need to set our toolbar as we are using a no action bar theme so we need to set support action bar and we need to pass our toolbar here that is in our activity underscore main so we set the toolbar we have the nav controller now we will set our navigation view with this nav controller and to do this we will call navigation ui dot set up with nav controller for the first parameter we will pass our navigation view and we have the navigation view here in our activity underscore main dot xml so we will pass navigation view for the first parameter for the next parameter we will pass the nav controller that's all after writing this our navigation view will work automatically and we do not need to write the fragment transactions thing it will switch the fragments automatically we also want to display the selected fragment title to our toolbar and to do this again we will call setup with nav controller but this time we will call navigation ui dot setup action bar with nav controller for the first parameter we will pass this and for the next parameter we will pass the nav controller and for the last parameter we need to pass our drawer layout so we will give drawer layout an id this is our drawer layout and we will give it an id so we have drawer layout and we will pass this id as the third parameter that's all so we set up everything now we need to override one more function to handle the back button. So we will write override fun on support navigate up. And in this function we will return navigation UI dot navigate up. For the first parameter we pass here our nav controller that we already have and for the next parameter we pass drawer layout like this and everything is fine now let's try running this application to see if it is working or not so this is our application and we can see our start fragment that we defined here that is our start destination which is fragment 1 so we can see fragment 1 here we can also switch between screens oops it's not working so something is wrong with our code so there is a problem that screens are not switching and the issue is the screen switches automatically but the id of the screen should match with the id of your menu so here we have written fragment one so in our menu that is main underscore menu dot xml we need to define the id as fragment one then only it will switch so we will define fragment two and fragment 3 like this now let's run the application again and this time it should work so make sure the id that is defined in your menu should match with the id that is defined in your navigation graph it is very important or else it won't work so we have our application we are inside menu 1 you can see it is highlighted we can go to menu 2 we can go to menu 3 
so it is working absolutely fine you can also see the back button here so it automatically manages the back stack so it is awesome right so that is all for this video friends if you have any confusion or trouble leave your comments below if you want to support me then please tell your friends to subscribe to simplified coding thanks for watching everyone this is bilal khan now signing off